So, this is not a happy, happy uh, episode. This is a sad episode because it has to do with a failed business. I don't think, if, let me back up a little bit. If you're not an entrepreneur or a business owner or run a business, it can be tough to appreciate how hard it actually is. First of all, if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, it tends to be a pretty lonely place because you don't really have anybody else um, to share your challenges and burdens with. You always have to be on for your staff, for your business partners, for your customers or your clients, and so it can be it can be a pretty a pretty frightening place. If your business isn't doing well, it becomes a really scary place because oftentimes you don't want to tell anyone what's going on in your business, and you are scared, and you have a lot of fear and a lot of talk in your head about what could or couldn't happen, and so. This episode is um, to try and help someone who's running a business who finds himself in that position and to try and give them a little bit of a glimmer of hope. Let me back up a little bit. A few months back, um, we bought a piano, and uh, that is a bit of a niche business. It was uh, um, a big purchase for our family. I've got a big family, I've got five kids running around, and all of them, or most of them rather, three of them are taking piano lessons and we wanted you know a nice piano and so it took us a little while but uh, we were able to find one and we found one from a small business here in in our city and uh, they'd been around for a couple of decades they would refurbish pianos they would service pianos and when I bought the piano uh, it came with a with a warranty and I had asked the question well how do I know this warranty is gonna be any good how do I know if you're gonna be here tomorrow and uh, the business owner kind of joked and laughed a little bit and said, no, no, I've been here this long. You know, you can, you can be rest assured that the warranty will be great. And so um, we needed our piano tuned. And so uh, we tried to call the business, call the business, and then today discovered that the phone number had been disconnected. And so that's, that's too bad. I, I knew where the business was located, so I drove past it this morning. And uh, only to discover not only is nobody there, there's nothing in the business either. And so that seems to be indicative of a shutdown. And so that's sad. That's sad that a business that's been around for that long um, has failed. I remember speaking to the business owner and asking him how he was able to generate customers. And he had talked about having an online presence. And he was a little bit older, but you could tell that uh, he had some younger people helping him out with Facebook ads and Google AdWords and that sort of thing. And so, um, so it's just sad. It's sad when a business can't make it. It's sad when people who were working for that business uh, built their life around the employment that that business offered them. And it's sad because I imagine that this particular entrepreneur uh, this business owner probably lived in stress for quite some time until the inevitable happened where he probably couldn't make his bills anymore or just became uh, fatigued and worn out in the business or maybe something tragic happened that I'm not a privy to. But failed businesses are, are sad because they do contribute. Uh, businesses contribute, certainly entrepreneurs, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, these uh, these businesses contribute. They contribute to our communities in ways that large businesses can't. They are responsible for some of the innovative products and services that we all get to benefit from. And uh, so if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner and you're finding yourself um, in a moment, maybe a financial stress, uh, certainly I would appreciate the opportunity to, to chat with you. Uh, I've, I've seen many of these situations that uh, where you know, closing the business sort of seemed like the only option, only to discover that there were other ways uh, to get out of a tough moment. And so um, certainly I'd appreciate the opportunity to help. But if you don't talk to me, talk to somebody. Go talk to your accountant. Go talk to a lawyer. Go find another entrepreneur that maybe is online or in your community, in your business circles, that has some experience with with being in a tough spot because trying to do it by yourself is not a good idea. If you don't have anyone to talk to and you don't have any resources to uh, lend from or borrow from, then it just gets compoundedly worse for you. And so um, 
if there's any hope, the hope is that if you know how to generate a customer, if you know how to generate a sale, then the bottom line is going to take care of itself. And maybe you just need a little bit of help. Maybe you just your business just needs somebody to look at it and make a few adjustments. And once those adjustments are done, your business is going to be just fine. Um, doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight, but it could put you on a path to getting uh, to a better place. And not that I'm trying to be falsely optimistic, but the truth is that entrepreneurs and business owners are very creative people. And once they know and once they have the information at their fingertips and once they know what they have to work with, they often can be quite creative in getting their business out of a funky moment and into a better moment. And oftentimes, successful business owners, uh, they'll get punched in the face a few times, maybe break a few bones, uh, philosophically speaking. And then once they get over that pain, and they've, as you've heard me say before, they've paid the education tax, they often end up with much, much better businesses than they had before. And sometimes, you know, you don't know what you have until you lose it. But sometimes you don't have to lose it um, to know what you have. And so this... Uh, this particular uh, episode is just to give you a sense of hope if you're in that moment. That you, If you're looking down the barrel of closing your doors, uh, there's other ways out. And I'll give you a personal share. I recall uh, during the financial crisis, I remember the morning I woke up and I looked at my wife because we have coffee every morning and I said, you know, I think I have to go to the office today and just lock the doors. And I remember how heavy that moment was. I remember the days and weeks leading up to it. But then I was able, with my network and, and some people, I was able to get out into the market and just start talking to a few people. And one thing led to a next, to another. And uh, while, we, while I had to make some serious adjustments, I was able to get through that moment. And uh, there have been some other moments since. I mean, I am a a terrible learner and I only learn the hard way but I share this to give you a sense of hope that um, I can empathize with what you're going through I can sympathize with what you're going through and if your business is at that point reach out to me reach out to somebody and start talking through the solutions and because you've got nothing to lose the best conversation you can have is what would get us out of this problem that we're in right now and there should be lots of different answers to that. As crazy as they might sound, put them down, get them on a piece of paper. So what would get us out of this problem? And then if we had to not just get out of this problem, but become better because of this problem, what would we have to do? And uh, I just finished reading a book that was written back in the 1930s, I believe. And there was a, a comment in there that I've now adopted and branded my own, which is, uh, you can play to not lose, or you can play to win. And when your business uh, is facing a moment where it feels like you're just going to lose, uh, you've got two choices. Uh, you can play to not lose, or you can play to win. And because you have nothing to lose by figuring out how to win, try to get yourself into that space to see how you can do it. That's all I've got. I just uh, thought I would share that because of my particular experience today with a business that has failed and is no longer around and it's a, it's a sad moment. Um, but um, could be, you know, for someone that's out there before you get to that moment, maybe you can get, uh, get some help. So uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And uh, feel free to reach out and connect with me or connect uh, at emilynow.ca if you think your business needs some financing.